In this video, we're gonna be changing the time-lapse settings of our GoPro Hero 4 camera. To do this, we're gonna press the power mode button once to boot the camera up. Now, these cameras do sometimes take a little while to boot up, so one press is enough, but you just have to be patient until it boots up. Then with the camera on, we're gonna scroll through using the power mode button until we get to night-lapse or time-lapse mode. So depending on what settings you use last, it will depend what this mode is called. To change it, push the settings tag button on the side until you get up the mode menu. Now you're going to use the mode button to scroll through the different settings to select them or highlight them. And you're going to use the sh shutter button on the top of the camera to change them. So here we're in night lapse mode. Now we don't want to be in night lapse mode. We want to be in time lapse mode. So we use the shutter button to change that. And that can go through burst, time lapse, night lapse, so we're going to enter time-lapse mode because that's what we're trying to set up. We're trying to set up a time-lapse. Then we'll use the mode button to scroll through the options. So you can see here the next option down is how often these photos are taken. Right now it's set at 10 seconds. That seems a little bit long, so we'll use the shutter button to shorten that up. So there's 30, 60, and 0.5. I'm going to start off with 0.5. So we'll leave this set at 0.5. We use the mode button again to scroll down. Now this is the resolution that the camera is shooting at. So right now it's set to 12 megapixels wide. We can use the shutter button there to change that. It can be seven megapixels wide, seven megapixels medium, five megapixels medium, and then that's back to 12 wide. We'll leave it set at 12 wide. The next setting down here is center weighted metering. Basically, if this is on, the camera will prioritize exposure for whatever's in the center of the shot. And if it's off, it will try to matrix meter or just expose the shot as best as possible for everything that's in the shot. And the final option is ProTune, and this can be turned on or off. Go down, we'll select Exit, and we can use the shutter button to exit, or at any point in this menu, we can use the Settings tag button to exit the menu and save our settings. Then it's a simple matter to start recording. We just push the record button, and the camera will start recording. So every half second, the camera's gonna record a frame. The blinking LED basically blinks every time a shot's captured, and you can see the LCD on the camera can't quite keep up with how fast shots are being captured. Shooting time lapses is amazing. Make sure you check out the description of the video for a bunch of other time lapse videos that I've got up on my channel. These things show you everything from creating rotating time lapse bases to get a little bit more interesting shots and a little bit of movement to them to uh, how to take all night time lapses or get sunrises and stuff like that. So check out the video description for links to a bunch of cool videos. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you check out the links in the video, or make sure you subscribe, like the video, and um, if you've got any questions or comments, leave them down below. But most of all, until next time, thank you very much for watching.